Right now, there are dozens of road closures, some areas with no way in or out. Law enforcement reminding everyone to stay away from flooded areas for their own safety. KTV Newswatch 7's Camilla Ortiz is live south of the metro. Camilla? Well, Chin, travel continues to not be easy across the states of Iowa and Nebraska. I'm standing on La Platte Road and 10th Street, which is just right off of Highway 75. And Highway 75 is impassable right now over the Platte River due to this flooding. You can see the massive amounts of water behind me. Look at this. So we're right by the Hanson Lake communities. All that rushing water that you see right there, this is a railroad track. There's not supposed to be water there. And if you keep, if we keep panning over, um, you'll see Pl La Platte Road right here is iced over so it was really eerie this morning to come this entire community is covered with water and that's now turned to ice of course that will probably melt with today's temperatures now check out this video we got a couple days ago of the Hanson Lake community this is what they were still doing still filling sandbags doing everything they can to keep that water away and now look at these photos showing water just about reaching the roofs of these cabins these photos were taken yesterday again entire community is underwater and the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office provided those incredible aerial photos that you saw right there so this is just one example of countless communities and towns that are dealing with catastrophic flooding this morning and again if you see a road barricade up do not go around it. You can and will be cited if you do so. Reporting live here in La Platte, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7. Important reminders there. Camilla, thank you.